As Colorado's Attorney General, I find myself at the heart of legal discussions concerning the definition of marriage, the regulation of conversion therapy, the adoption of state religious freedom restrict, red, restriction, that, that fits, doesn't it? Religious freedom restoration laws, and the struggle against discrimination in employment, housing, and public places. When I am wearing my attorney general's hat, I advise my state clients on the constitutionality of proposed laws. I look for conflicts between new and existing statutes, and I interpret court decisions from the United States Supreme Court on down. I maintain the neutrality required in my role as a guardian of the rule of law. That can differ from my personal beliefs, the ones I hold as a member of the Republican Party, as well as the reaction that I have as a compassionate human being and a loving friend. My final comments this morning are made from those latter perspectives. As a Republican, I confess to you my deep disappointment in a party platform that looks backward rather than moving us toward the future, <laughs> or frankly, even catching up with the present. I am ashamed to look at one of our founders, Abraham Lincoln, to look at him in the eye as he surveys our nation's progress from his grand seat in the Lincoln Memorial. And as a friend, as a caregiver to one of my former clients on that meal delivery route, I sometimes find myself at a loss to explain why my political party does what it does. Today, as we celebrate our gains on behalf of LGBT rights, may we all recommit ourselves to the cause of achieving equality in the eyes of the law, in the positions of our party, in the hearts of our friends and our neighbors. Let us redouble our efforts to fight on in this civil rights movement that we find ourselves still fighting in 2016 until we overcome and reach fully the freedom that all des Americans deserve. Thank you so much. Thank you to the American Unity Fund. <laughs>